go. Let's take care of your pain first, and then I'll get to work on that healing potion. So a while back I made a video on tiling textures, but that was only one way that you could do it. Last time we used the materials to tile everything, but this time I'd like to use the UVs themselves to tile everything. And that way, we could leave our materials at the default scale. Um, excuse me, but what materials are you talking about? Like, for sewing? <laughs> uh, well, not exactly. But, using your island as an example, let's, uh, let's tile some textures. <gasps> Ooh! Are we making a mosaic? That would be so pretty. Yes, well, let's, uh, let's build a fence then, as an example. So as you can see, I have a fence set up right here. Everything looks nice and I'm ready to start tiling me some textures. So I'll just make a new material by clicking the plus button right here. And oh, uh, don't forget to actually select your mesh and hit the assign button over here. Uh, very important. That way you can actually see the damn thing. Hit new and give it a nice name like a... Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll do. After which I'll just uh, slide this specular slider over to zero because quite frankly we don't need that. Then to bring in our texture, let's just uh, hit Shift A to bring down this uh, menu right here. Scroll down to Texture, uh, the drop-down menu right there, and then let's just select the Image Texture option. All right, now let's just connect the tabs right here, like so. Uh, we're going to put the color to base color. Then, uh, seeing as how we do indeed have transparencies in our texture, let's just connect the Alpha tab to the well, the other Alpha tab. Okay, now just click the Open tab right here, and to bring in our lovely textures. Okay, as you can see, uh, my UVs have already been unwrapped, and this is what it looks like when it's just kind of been applied as is. Uh, for those who don't know, just hit the U button to unwrap, and yeah, you're pretty much good there. However, this is not exactly what we wanted. In fact, it's not really tiling at all. So, what do we do? Well, we're going to take advantage of how UVs work here in Blender, and set them up so they tile all by themselves. Here's how. First, I'm going to hit the 4 key, so I select only what I want over here in the UV tab. Next, I rotate my selected UVs by hitting the R key and then typing 90 to rotate at 90 degrees. Okay, so my goal here is to overlap all my UVs over each other, so everything kind of just stays even whenever I start to scale them up. So to help with this, I'm going to go up to the top right here and click the Magnet button, and make sure the Selection option next to it is selected to Vertex. And that way, when you move these things around, they snap from Vertex to Vertex. And it makes lining them up a whole lot easier. And then from here, I go ahead and layer, layer them on top of each other, one by one. Mmm, yes, yes, I feel nice. Now that all that's done is left to scale everything up. Oh, and as a quick side note, if you need to move these around freely, just untick the magnet button, uh, select what you want, hit G, and then you can move it around a whole lot easier. So let's just hit the A key to select everything. And then we scale everything up, or down, with the S key, like so. Alright, now let's do that, and... Hmm. Looks like some of these boards are upside down. And the grass is poking down from out of the air, too. No, 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 no. This, this will not, this cannot stand. But it's an easy fix. Now I just select the UVs that I want to fix, and move your cursor back over to the UVs, and just rotate them 180 degrees by hitting R, and of course typing 180. And there you go! Let me just select these vertices so uh, I can move them up and down a bit, and yep, there you go. Now we're done. 
Oh, wait, 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 yeah, no, 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 we're not. Nah, no, nah, no, we ain't done just yet. So if you're doing art like me, uh, you're looking for like a PS1 aesthetic over here, and if you'll notice that these textures are a bit, um, well, they're a bit blurry, and we do not want that. So uh, what we need to do to fix that is go back over to our UV tab, where our texture is located. Now for that first drop-down menu, we need to make a slight change. So more than likely, it's going to be set to linear. Just click that bad boy to drop down a menu, and you're going to change that to closest, and bada bing bada boom, ah, look at that, everything is now beautifully pixelated. And just for reference, the texture that I'm using is 128 by 128. Relatively small texture, but it gets the job done quite nicely. Now we're done. Now, of course, if you'd like me to show you how I drew this texture, yeah, go ahead and, and tell me if that's what you want to see. I already recorded myself doing it, so, yeah. Let me know. See you Here we are. Now this is what Hopium is supposed to look like. I think that this is my best batch yet, as a matter of fact. Here you go, sweetie. <laughs> there. All better. Sheesh. I thought I was a workaholic. So... Yeah. Can we go see the island now? Um. Please! <sighs> yeah, sure, fine, but... Uh, what if I have one of those uh, bottles of opium? I, uh, I think one of my ribs are still cracked. <laughs>